What up, man? Um, I had a, a couple months ago, I had to switch my radiators because I drive a... Can you see that? Uh, anyways, I drive an automatic Miata. And I bought a radiator, a new radiator for my car. And this radiator was built for a, um, a manual, not an automatic. This is my old radiator. It's 20 years old. And it just started spitting out, so I JB welded it shut. And for just a couple weeks, I JB welded it so it wasn't leaking. I did that for two weeks until I had enough money to buy a new radiator. But this is the old one. It's an automatic radiator. And the difference between this one and the new one is this radiator has an intercoolant, which cools the cooler, I guess. Or the transmission fluid, sorry. It, it cools the transmission fluid. It's got like a little, it's not the same, basically. This has two of these hoses, the transmission fluid connects. The new one, this one, I got off Amazon for 109 bucks, doesn't have these two things. And I don't know anything about cars, but I already hooked it up and then I saw that right as I hooked it up. So I'm like, what the fuck do I do? And uh, can you see this right here? Uh, these two, those go to the transmission fluid, which hooked up to this. So I'm like, what do I do, you know? This has two, it hooks into this, and the new radiator doesn't have that. So I'm like, where do I put these two hoses? And I have no idea how to do anything like that. Anyways, I thought about clamping them together, but I'm like, that's, I mean, I can't, I can't do that. So what I did was, can you see those two hoses? I bought two hoses that connect to this. It's called a transmission cooler. A transmission cooler. And I just hooked it up to this. It was like 40 bucks, 30 bucks. And this does the same job as this guy. And that saved me a lot of stress and time. And I, I had no idea what to do. I asked a friend. He didn't know. He didn't know that there are different radiators for automatic and manual. But now I got a bigger, nicer radiator. And that's how I did it. And this guy, when I switched out my radiator, I also switched out the thermostat. And this guy gave me problems. Can you see that? Yeah, um, it's the housing, it's kind of hard to see, but it's in here, that's my third one, that's the third one I bought from, um, from the Miata dealership, it was 30 bucks, and, um, if you tighten it too tight, it cracked every time, that was my third one, so if you tighten it too tight, it'll crack, and if you tighten it too loose, it'll spill out everywhere it was just fucking oh, it was a pain man i had a friend take me to like 40 miles just to get a new one before work anyways so i did that before this and if anyone is ever doing this what i recommend and what i did was i bought a shit ton of that um that uh sealant what's that sealant called it's it's like atv or something like that a shit ton of sealant and I didn't tighten it too tight I tightened it you know when you tighten it too tight like when you tighten anything you, you fucking tighten it and uh, you, you wait till it's tight and then you crank it again and that's when this cracked that's when this, it cracked so it's just it was a tricky situation this isn't real uh, metal it's like aluminum so that's my little tip on this. Use a shit ton of that sealant and don't tighten it too tight. It'll crack and you'll have to ask a friend or walk to fucking... You can't even walk to AutoZone to get this. But that's how I did it. I did that shit in three days. So if anyone... If I help one person, then that's awesome. But that's what I did. Thanks for watching my video. Now I know um, people... Most people don't drive older cars anymore. This is a 95, so... Most people don't drive older cars and most people don't even work on their cars anymore. 
but if somebody had this video it would have helped me out like crazy because I spent like three days just stressing over how to do it I looked online I couldn't find anything I asked a bunch of friends that they didn't know that there was a difference between an automatic and manual transmission uh, radiator so if this helps just one or two people out that's what's up man that's awesome but um yeah so peace